still waiting. Still waiting. And are there any other developments to report on right now? investigation into this matter will um, trigger. If this commission chooses to not take that recommendation or wants to seek additional input, that's up to the commission. I don't, you know, I don't take any offense. I'm simply telling you what I believe to be um, consistent with the regulations, the law, and what is being proposed. If any individual investigation of this specific incident is undertaken as a, as a case specific complaint, I believe that confidentiality will be triggered. Thank you. Uh, investigating this matter um, in, in a way that maybe was more productive, transparent, and accountable than. than Investigations have been occurring in the past. It's not about you know necessary staff time or commission time, but really about trying to achieve um, achieve some transparency and accountability for the community. And I can respond by saying that I can forward information to the city to the city attorney's office, but understand that they are enormously busy, and if there's not something that's coming from the commission as a whole, I don't think that, I think it may affect the likelihood of it being addressed, but also understand that I can't compel another agency Understood. to devote staff time or even to respond. I don't have that ability to do that. Um, I also want to make it clear that I think that I, I'm trying to convey to this commission what the options are now if the commission wants to take on a broader issue of studying the issue, doing a subcommittee, you know, that's that's honorable work. But with regard to this item on the agenda, this specific item, this is on specifically for discussion and action on how this how this panel wants to move forward and, and in what way and what tools are now for you to do that. Um, I am confident that our regulations allow for two types of complaints, a policy complaint or a case specific complaint. And if this commission chooses to move forward with opening a case specific complaint investigation, I am confident that this is going to be a confidential investigation. Yeah, so my suggestion and the wording that I gave to the Simpson Center to the city attorneys was that this be a policy investigation. And I'm happy to. But you've also reiterated that this policy investigation would be aimed at analysis of this specific case. And I have to ask for purposes of helping to work through the, the, the issue what would this investigation look like? Would it involve interviewing officers? How would the investigation take place? If it's purely a policy, I think that we would ask at the very least for redacted documents. So documents including um, including the dispatch report from that night. Um, doc, uh, we could you know use our subpoena power to ask other people who were at the scene to come and talk about that incident without actually mentioning officers' names. I mean. I very carefully worded the, the, the language to the city attorney so that I could get an answer and maybe we could imagine a way to do this in, um, in a way that was compliant with state law and also accountable to the public. Mm -hmm. And um, if you think that it would help to get an answer by, if it comes from the entire commission, I'm, I'm happy to, to do a motion um, and see where that goes. If, if, uh, if that will prompt a quicker answer, I think that it might be worth um, I'm, you know, I don't know whether, part of this is that I don't know whether individual commissioners can contact the city attorney in their individual capacity um, or whether, you know, everything has to go through the system. So I would be happy to contact the city attorney and say, I have this particular question as a member of the commission um, or say that there's consensus about at least wanting an answer to this question so that we can move fast and trying to imagine what this would look like. And Commissioner, I, I hear what you're saying. I, I'm, I'm trying to be as candid with you as I can that 
given what you have proposed, I have to make a recommendation to staff. That's my job that, that is in line with the regulations and, and the law. And I, I have to say that my, my recommendation to this commission is that what you are suggesting will invoke confidentiality. I, you know, I really disagree, and I think that it's worth hearing this from the city attorney. And I, and I, that's I, I respect fair. your analysis and opinion. I, I've also read the cases. I've talked to um, people who work in police accountability issues for ACLU for a long time, and everyone seems to think that this okay. is possible. What we, what we can do right now is, I, I haven't even seen, seen Commissioner Long, oh, I'm sorry, Commissioner Long, um, a long time ago. Yeah, I have a point of order, and that is, this is the Should what, up, yeah, what we're talking about is not on the agenda, in a sense of the report that you gave on the local it's, it's on the agenda, it's on the agenda, and that it is for, this is with regard to the death of Kayla Moore, and what we spoke about last time, so it's follow-up. Well, I wasn't, I was at the last meeting, so I didn't understand that. I really feel like that we need to be really careful on how we're discussing this, and, 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 and I'd like to see that report that you're was that given out in the last meeting? No, I did my own research to this find out. Is this from Oakland? Or? I did my own research to find out how other police review boards in the state of California and Los okay. Angeles, San Francisco, Oakland, and San Jose, how they handle these types of things in comparison to how Berkeley handles them. Okay. Well, I would appreciate if you know if you bring something up for discussion, it would be nice to see the report and hand it out in the meeting so we can. Unfortunately, I can't handle it. I need to hand anything out that isn't included in the agenda. Well, so you can turn it into the people. I was asked today by uh, my officer Simpson to, to not send lots of things to be included in the agenda because it made it burdensome for her. Actually, let me correct that, Commissioner. You sent me an email that included links to and, it, and, it, and it asked me to, to print out highly voluminous documents from links, okay? That's a separate issue. If you want to have something attached to this commission's agenda, I will do so. If you want to pass something out in less than 72 hours time frame, you may do so. You just have to make it available to the public. I'm hearing about this report for the first time. Sure, I, no, I, I, I understand, understand that, that, but I, I understood from your email that it was that I was sending too many things and that it was too burdensome for you and that you needed five days and that I needed to be in hard copy and that I needed to be it, it, to you in your office. So that's what I was just focusing on. That was with regard to the subcommittee because I, I was experiencing way too much falling. Okay, let's move on from this discussion. I mean, as far as the request by staff to, uh, to provide hard copies five business days before attaching them to the agenda for a quick turnaround in a subcommittee meeting, um, I think it's reasonable. That's fine, but um, I, that's, that's not so, obvious today. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, Officer Bergling. What's your? Oh, are you? Is that are they on the committee? I just have to ask a question for Commissioner Duvall. Oh, can we get to? It? Okay. So we're back on. Okay. I just for uh, Commissioner Duvall, just out of for point of information, I'm not privy to what Oakland's policies are. That you did when you said that they give out the reports about what the complainants complain about. Was that actually in the general meeting, or was that in their board of inquiries? So they include in their um, in their in their meeting minutes, they include what happened at the Board of Inquiry, what the complaint was, the rationale for administrative closure, and what the complainant alleged. So this is during the general meeting? Yes. Is, is this during an open meeting or during closed meeting? During open meeting. Thank you. Yes. So that's nothing to do with the Board of Inquiry, that's just I want to make clear that, it, that, that, that this report is not done the Board of Inquiry. No, no, that's right. That, that was it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate that. And I want to go. I mean, this conversation has gone all over the map. Uh, asking the city attorney a specific question about how to proceed with the investigation. Um, but as far as the, the redacting of complaints, uh, it's somewhat related in terms of how I believe Chris Duvall wants to go about uh, conducting this investigation. So that's how it's connected. Okay, thank you. So, in our last, in the general work during this, uh, this subject matter last time, we, disc we discussed that it would be, if we opened up an individual complaint into this particular woman's death, that the problems would arise because the information, as we conduct boards of inquiry, becomes completely private. 
because if information goes, if informa and my concern is the information that otherwise wouldn't be private would then become private. So um, a dispatch record, for example, because we because we have a board of inquiry, might then go into a personnel file, which then makes that unavailable for the public to see. If a so, dispatch record is public record, it remains public record, period. Okay, great. So, but my 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 concern was also that it wouldn't be um, that it wouldn't be open, to, you know, it wouldn't be open and transparent, and the public wouldn't get to know about this. And there is such huge public concern about this. There was a protest in People's Park Park this week. There's a press conference um, in front of the police department about this issue two weeks ago. It's something that's a, a big concern to the community. So, it's understood. so I was hoping that we could find a way to. Um, to do the investigation or to, to look at this from a policy perspective in terms of how the police, without implicating particular officers, um, and thus instigating this particular, you know, um, this California Supreme Court decision. And so um, I'm trying to find the language that I said to Ms. Simpson. Um, oh, I but appreciate I'd like that being part of the motion. Yeah, that's what I want. That's so it. now, if, before, we, before we go ahead, I mean, while you're looking for that, my concern is uh, we can certainly pose the question to the city attorney that we can come up on a vote to uh, actually pose the question that Commissioner Duvall has, has uh, formulated and, uh, and approve uh, asking the question of the city attorney uh, by commission because it garners great credence if it comes by that comes from the entire commission, which is why we're doing this and why, why Commissioner Duvall wants to put it up for motion. The entire commission votes on on asking the city attorney the question. Um, my problem with it is, if we start on this investigation, how fruitful will it be? Um, I know we have subpoena power, and I think Commissioner Duvall has suggested that we subpoena witnesses from I don't know where. Um, how we're going to go about finding those witnesses? Um, and also, key witnesses, I mean, even if we're going to redact any kind of report uh, or testimony coming from key witnesses to the event, I don't think that, uh, I think we are going to end up running into confidentiality uh, issues and we're going to end up running, running, uh, running a risk of butting heads with the ongoing investigation by the district attorney's office. 